And look at it here, the height difference. Bobby Lashley, six foot three to Josh Apels, five foot ten. To Michael C. Williams. Presented tonight by Miller Lite, Bellator MMA Now. Features tonight's co-main event, three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing the blue corner first at five foot ten, weighing in 249.3 pounds. His professional record, 12 wins, five losses from Olivehurst, California, Josh the Juggernaut Apel. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot three, weighing in 245.2 pounds. Impressive as a professional. 14 victories, only two defeats from Parker, Colorado, presenting Bobby Lashley. And the referee in charge of the action, Blake Grice. Come here, guys. Gentlemen, you know the rules. I do expect a clean fight. Obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back up, let's fight. We know how dominant Bobby Lashley has been on the ground. Josh Apel has been. The question is, can he get Bobby Lashley to the ground? Yeah, it's the positioning that makes the strikes effective. Can he get it? Bobby, take a step. Bobby, take a step backwards for me. Here we go, you ready? You ready? Fight! The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers, it's Miller time. Bobby Lashley has been dominant inside the Bellator cage. The much anticipated rematch with James Thompson was a no contest. It was a run over in a minute for Bobby Lashley. But there's a downside to being dominant. People still question if with his frame, with his build, can he go a hard 15 minutes? Can he push in the third round? The eight pill, that's where you want to get him. I asked him this week about the pro wrestling schedule and where time comes to have a camp. He works it around the pro wrestling schedule. Which is murder. If people yes. don't know a pro wrestling schedule, it is murder. It's not what it used to be in terms of every day being yeah. on the road, but it still is not ideal. Bobby Lashley got that right in. Don't forget, still to come, not only Kendall Grove and Alexander Slameko in our main event, Tito Ortiz and Chael Sonnen go face to face in their debate, if you will. The first conversation after it was announced, they will meet on January 21st. You can tell here, it's all defense. Trying to wear Bobby Lashley down. Make him work in these positions. Don't make the takedown easy. Stay patient, stay safe. That's what I would advise him to do. Nice knee. I've never asked just talk about how his kickboxing has gotten so much better. He's throwing with confidence tonight. John Shapel got poked away. The referee didn't say there was an eye poke, so you got to keep fighting. Therefore, there wasn't an eye poke. Got to keep fighting. This easy takedown. Josh Apel has had a lot of little stoppages like that in his fights. Low blows when he went down where people questioned whether he was really hit low or not. Could have been a punch to the eye. Because he didn't motion to the referee, he just started pawing at his eye. Tito Ortiz, Chael Sun in conversation has already begun. going on all day on social media, and they will talk to each other later on tonight on Spike. apel has got to move here, giving up his back. The worst place to be against Bobby Lashley. Watch the back of the head, Bobby. Only halfway through this round. He's flattening out. And he's in big trouble here, Sean. Josh Apelt has been in there with bad water, Carl Sayamanatafa, but he hasn't been in deep water like this. Talk about having a mountain on top of you. He's able to buck, at least for the moment. He still has given his back and has two minutes to go to get to the bell. And that is an eternity in this position. Bobby's a, Bobby Lashley's guy you can't give a physical or positional advantage to. He's just too strong. He's generating a lot of power in the short range. 
the pro wrestling pedigree is so well known, so dominant. And when you think of Bobby Lashley, you forget he was a two-time national champion at Missouri Valley College. That's what impresses me is the amateur wrestling background. Apelt right now is getting beasted. Bobby Lashley now has that right arm up. Apelt can't protect himself. He's got Kimura position. He's got a lot of options here. Yep. Briefly thought about the key lock, couldn't lock it up. That wrestling ride, look at him hooking the right foot of Apel. Apel covering up, but he's in the ribs. Go. He's got to do something. A minute left. And he's been in survival mode this entire fight. Apel has some impressive wins. Three of them inside the Bellator cage, but he is. And nowhere close to Bobby Lashley's level here for four minutes. I don't think he's going to take a whole lot more for the stop as he pops up exactly at the right time. But Bobby Lashley it's taking okay. advantage. And he's fighting back just enough to keep this fight going. That's the Americana, but was in half guard. It's hard to finish there. 17 seconds. Josh Apel just wants to say to his grandkids one day he got to the first round with Bobby Lashley. <laughs> one way traffic. <laughs> we had two first round finishes to begin things tonight at Spike, and we very nearly. Had a third with Kendall Grove and Alexander Shlomenko in a huge middleweight fight waiting in the wings in the main you event. Ready? You ready? Let's fight. I'm not getting paid by the round tonight. I'm curious how much Bobby Lashley slows down after that attack. That offense he put on at the end of the first round. How much gas does he have left? 10-8 first round. 10-8 first round. Now Josh Apel. Only chance for him to do damage is there on his feet. He got one good shot. In Caught the, the guillotine, though. Guillotines him just to get him to the ground into a wrestling position. Surprised he didn't stay with that? A little surprised, but it was smart to let it go when he did. Josh Abel came out second round with a lot of confidence, but this is exactly, once again, where he doesn't want to be. And now much earlier in the round. Yep. He survived two and a half minutes in this spot in round one. Tried to roll, but that's not going to happen. And now Bobby Lashley in full oh, mount. Kind of a modified Grammy roll. And not going to catch Bobby Lashley in that. Been wrestling too long. Bobby Lashley just teeing off. Does Josh Apelt have enough just to hang in here? And there you go. That is a shutout, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he showed you the numbers at the start of the fight. Bobby Lashley picking up where he left off. And he is stopping everything and we're done. Bobby Lashley had so many options in that fight with Josh Apel on the ground. He was looking Kimura, he was looking Keylock. None of those were there for him. He waited and waited for that rear naked choke and it took no time at all to finish him. I call it wrestler's jiu-jitsu. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Great ground and pound. They'll turn and give you something. That's exactly what Josh Apel did. Let's check out the Black Card Premium Spice Rum Replay. The bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Full mount under this kind of attack. Apel turned and gave his back yet again. And look at the right arm. The snakes underneath doesn't even have a hook in. And he finishes his rear naked choke with arms like that underneath your neck. Pop your head right off. No choice for Apel but to tap. Earlier tonight, Goichi Yamauchi submitted Ryan Couture for the first time in his career. Josh Apel, seven years and 18 fights in the game. He had never been submitted until Bobby Lashley does the job here. Another dominant, impressive win to go to 15 and two. Bobby Lashley knocking on the door. He'll be with Jimmy Smith next. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a rear naked choke. The official time, one minute, 43 seconds into round number two. The winner by submission, Bobby Lashley.
He has been untouched. Bobby Lashley knocking on the door. He's with Jimmy Smith. I've been working out. You punch me in the stomach and hurt something. I'm with your winner, Bobby Lashley. Bobby, trying to one-up your friend, Jerry the King Lawler, who's cage side. That was a one-sided performance all the way through. That's what you wanted? Yo, absolutely, man. I got the, the king in my corner. You know, I had, to, I had to show him up a little bit, to show him what um, I'm doing for professional wrestling. On top of it, my guys over here, Josh Barnett flew down to corner me. He's always been by my side. Brother Fareed, um, all the guys back in Colorado. Mark, uh, so many people I have to thank, but man, feels good. What did it take? You talked about how your jujitsu had improved over the last few months, but Apel took a lot of beating to get him into that position. We were surprised he made it through round one. Yeah, you know, I was, I was trying to go for submission the whole time, and, and it, he was kind of hard. He was a strong guy, moving around a lot. I couldn't get him into position, but um, we strike to submission. So I just kept hitting him until he opened something up. You know the situation with the heavyweight title. A lot of people want that goal to talk about a one-night tournament. What do you have to say to everybody at Bellator, man? Well, I got a lot of people to go after. I mean, first person I have to go after is Eddie Edwards. Um, you'll find out that later. But then after that, you know, the heavyweight tournament is wide open. I know they're having me in that contest in that tournament. I don't know where they are, but the powers that be put me in and I'm ready to go. You heard it. Bobby Lashley, outstanding performance tonight. Congratulations. Give it up for him.